Alright boys, I've got this trigger cam. You see it there? Trigger cam says 2.1. I've got it turned on where the Wi-Fi is working on. I'm going to turn this camera off. I'm going to get in this truck. It's raining out here. I've got an iPad mini laying there. I'm going to show you a video that I did this morning. Just a little trial video and let you see how big the image is on this iPad mini should you decide to take one to the woods with you. Okay, this is the same video I showed earlier with a cheap cell phone. This is an I Apple iPad Mini, okay? You see how All big right. the you image is? Let mode. you watch it here. Right. Now there's water droplets on this iPad. Don't worry about them. Point it over there at that tree. That tree over there is about 80 yards. You get a bigger right. image. Yonder, you're talking a lot farther. It's 200, okay? I don't shoot squirrels that far with this gun, but that's 200 yards. Okay? So we're going to do a little scenario here. Pretend, okay, I just shot a squirrel. We'll say, oh, that's a big oak tree yonder. It's got a dead tree beside it to the right. Okay. Now, this thing also has photo capability. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn. So you see, you get to describe the tree. Maybe it's a tree that's got a, something about it distinguishable or something near where you shot the squirrel or your deer is distinguishable. You could use this with a center fire rifle. Just be advised, recall. Recall from a center fire rifle is gonna kick back, okay? Unlike a rim fire, maybe a crossbow air rifle. You could use this with an air rifle to help you locate your game, okay? But you could take an iPad mini with you if you wanted to in your bag and review it if necessary, okay? It's gonna conclude a video.